the Lord. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Succession. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, CCC 81 says, The sacred scripture is the speech of God as it is put down in writing under the breath of the Holy Spirit. And holy tradition transmits in its entirety the word of God which has been entrusted to the apostles by Christ the Lord and the Holy Spirit. It transmits it to the successors of the apostles so that, enlightened by the spirit of truth, they may faithfully preserve, expound and spread it abroad by their preaching. So today we hear about the 76th Pope in Apostolic Succession, Pope Saint Vitalian. Pope Vitalian was born at Segni, Campania, Italy. He was elected on June 2nd, 657, and enthroned on July 30th, 657. Nothing else is known of Vitalian before his election to the papacy. He was chosen as the 76th Pope in 657. Here are some interesting facts about Pope Saint Vitalian. His papacy began on July 30th, 657 AD and ended when he died on January 27th, 672 AD. His successor was Pope Ediodatus II. Vitalian's name was entered on the diptychs of the churches in Byzantium, which is an ancient writing tablet carved from wood, metal or ivory used for ecclesiastical manuscripts like for lists of bishops and other important records. It was the only name of a pope so entered between the pontificate of Honorius I and the Sixth Ecumenical Council of 680-81. Here are some major contributions of Pope Saint Vitalian. During his reign, his papacy was overshadowed by dispute between the imperial authorities in the East and the papacy in Italy. And it was about monothelitism. Pope Vitalian attempted to resolve this schism on friendly terms with Eastern Emperor Constance II. Emperor Constance II of Constantinople favored monothelitism and made frequent attempts to bend Rome to his way of thinking, including the exile and murder of Pope Martin I. Pope Italian tread lightly with the emperor but always held firm to the truth. Pope Italian was successful in improving relations with England where disputes still divided the Anglo-Saxon and the British clergy. Vitalian sent a highly educated monk, Theodore of Tarsus, to be Archbishop of Canterbury, which strengthened the ties between the bishops there with Rome. Pope Saint Vitalian died on January 27, 672 AD in Rome, Italy. Pope Saint Vitalian died after 15 years as head of the Catholic Church. Vitalian is regarded as a saint by the Catholic Church which celebrates January 27th as his feast day. That's all for today. Thank you all for listening and please stay tuned to our next episode. Please like, share and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the Church, God bless you all.